In this video, we'll be looking into the important questions or must-cover topics for Agile Technology subject or subject code 21 CS641. So here we have the VTO sample paper, and along with that, I have managed to get the question pa question bank for um, each of the module. So I've compared these two and uh, prepared these important questions. So let's start from the first topic, uh, first module. We have uh, the first question is, what do you mean by Agile? List Agile methods and practices. This could be asked for 10 marks. One thing, guys, uh, all these questions in Agile uh, would be asked for 10 marks. Uh, if not, it could be asked for 5 marks. But mostly, we can expect 10 mark questions directly. So first question is, what do you mean by Agile? List Agile methods and practices. Then we have the, this question is pretty important. That is the Agile manifesto and uh, the Agile practices. So this is pretty important. Uh, because um, this has been not been internals and uh, from the first module perspective also I would say that uh, this topic is uh, pretty important. Moving on further, uh, next we have different types of success. It could be uh, organizational success, technical success or personal success and along with that agile development focuses on achieving technical success and personal success. Discuss on it. So this is again an important question. One thing guys when you are writing an answer, uh, for this particular subject, I would suggest you to, uh, whatever you write, along with that, give an example, uh, a real life scenario or a hypothetical situation and try to link the concepts which you have written to the real world uh, scenarios or the hypothetical scenarios. By doing so, it will be uh, easy for the evaluator to understand the concepts and for us, even for us, it will be easy to fill the pages. So that was the fourth question. Next, we have phases of agile model, uh, model in designing system. Then we have principles of Agile testing and what is the role of user stories in Agile. Moving further, in second module, we have advantages of uh, XP, uh, extreme programming and uh, how to master Agile development. Then we have uh, a neat diagram and explain the XP life cycle. Then uh, describe XP team in detail. What are the prerequisites to practice XP? Recommendations for adapting XP. What are the XP concepts? And uh, applying XP in phase based organizations, branch new, uh, brand new project and existing project. So with each of the scenario, uh, the, how, how do we apply XP concepts in uh, the, those particular projects also vary. So I'll be uploading module wise uh, video for uh, explaining all these important concepts. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned. Moving further, third module, first question is root cause analysis. How do you find root cause analysis? When to fix and not to fix? Then we have, uh, how can we make large design changes without its behavior? Uh, moving further, we have techniques used by XP to achieve zero bugs. Then we have, uh, how can we in inspire trust in team decision? Why do you need reports? Then along with that, this fifth question guys, it comprises of six sub parts. So each of them is of 10 marks, okay. So pair programming, they can ask us to explain pair programming with an example. So make sure you study pair programming properly and also demonstrate the topic with an example. Then we have in informative workspace, retrospective, uh, this uh, ubiquitous UB language, stand-up meetings, sample agile workspace. Next we have what are the factors that lead to energized work in XP. So this question has appeared in the sample paper, it was there in internal question paper also. Then we have concept of test driven development and agile development, agile methodology. Coming to fourth module, uh, what are the XP values, principle and practices. Then we have explain why exploratory testing is important in XP. Then we have uh, how can you build effective relationship with people to have successful project completion. Then um, we have uh, anything more is wasteful, so eliminate it. So how do you do it? So they can give such phrases and explain and expect us to uh, deduce those phrases and uh, explain them with context to agile methodology. So make sure that uh, the the popular ones like only releasable code has value, anything more is wasteful and all of that, um, you know what in what terms they have meant that and what to write for such statements. Coming to fifth question that is uh, different strategies for pursuing mastery in Agile, there are seven or eight strategies. Then these two are questions are from the fifth module that is apply strategy to exploit agility for develop, delivering value in a project. Then we have methods for uh, eliminating the waste to improve the quality. 
moving on further in fifth module we have universal design principles then we have uh, how do you justify exploit exploit the agility uh, is related to delivering the value then we have bring out some conclusions for great design which gives great quality so analyze relationship between technical excellence and value design in agile and fifth question is how can one implement version control in agile principles then we have apply our understanding in importance of delivering software frequently in agile practices so these were the important questions uh, which i have noted down so here uh, i have the question bank uh, the question bank important questions as well as the sample pa sample paper would be available in the description i'll post it in the g drive and uh, one more thing guys agile being a theoretical subject you have to write a lot in this so make sure that you understand the th topics thoroughly and one good thing is uh, you can use chat gpt or chat gpt generated answers for this topic and uh, the the key point here is uh, answers vary from person to person because my understanding of personal success would be different from yours so uh, make sure that we write a standard answer so that uh, the evaluator can give decent amount of marks for uh, such questions where our personal bias is also taken into consideration so that's about it guys stay tuned i'll be uploading module wise videos uh, if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you